Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Monica Sanchez. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for this video, and don't forget to hit that little bell button to receive notification every time I post a new video. For today's video, I am going to do a get ready with me, um, full face and eyeshadow. So I'm ready to get into it. I hope you are ready too, and just please keep on watching. So for starters, we're going to be doing the eyes first, since I am going to be doing a more darker look. And with the palette that I am going to be using, it does have quite a bit of fallout. So for today's palette, I'm going to be going into the Subculture palette. It's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And if you guys haven't seen it, I'm pretty sure you guys have and have been familiar with this palette. This is what it looks like. It's such a really cool palette. Um, I have been into it as you guys can see it's pretty dusty and used up so yeah um I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be sticking more to like the green and like the burgundy vibes in this palette but I'm just gonna go ahead and like see what I like better so for my primer I'm gonna be using the morphe um, white concealer it looks just like this I typically don't use any um, specific eyeshadow primers. I tend to always use any type of concealer. And just depending on the look of the range of colors, I'll see if I use a white base, a natural base, or a little darker base to give it that warmth in the colors. Now that I have this brush, I'm just gonna be going ahead and using this side and applying this concealer to the eyelid. Having applied the concealer just like this, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my first color in the palette and my first brush. But the JS6 brush looks just like this and I'm gonna go into the color Destiny, which is this really pretty green color here. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the same brush and I'm gonna go in now with the color axis which is this which is this cool color here in the corner of the eyeshadow palette now going to be applying it into the inner part of the eye and just focusing it there don't bring it into um, the nose like the area towards the nose I want to keep it away from there just keep it in place in this exact same area in the crease but in the inner part like towards the inner part of the eye and just start to blend up with this flat brush it is the E121 AOA studio brush it's a flat brush just like this going into my morphe white concealer putting some on my hand and we're gonna be applying this concealer to my eyelid and I'm going to be doing a half cut crease I believe. With this JS6 brush we're going to go again into the color axis and we're going to start to apply this right here in the outer part of the eye and blending it in towards the concealer that I applied. For the half cut crease and remember very gentle in blending these eyeshadows due to its patchiness you could see the little bit of patchiness here in the eye but far away you could barely tell so we're gonna keep going with the same brush we're gonna go into the color untamed and we're gonna apply this color right beside that axis color starting blending it in the two colors together. Yes, we're living the color Destiny. 
and applying this here in the inner part of the eye. Don't worry if you go over the other shadows. You could come back later and blend it back. And then going to access, which is the outer part of the eye color and to the crease. Now, finally moving on, I know, to another brush. Um, technically not another brush, going back to the one that I used to blend the concealer with. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this um, opposite side with this little smudger brush end and go into the color All Star, which is this nice burgundy color, I believe. I would um, maroon, I don't know, and apply it right under the lower lash line. Hey guys, so I went ahead and went off camera to finish both of the eyes. As you could see, I'm gonna get closer. There was quite a bit of fallout, as you guys could see. I haven't finished blending my eyeshadow all the way. Um, please bear with me that I'm gonna be going ahead and doing my eyebrows, then my face, and then tying the whole look together. Uh, that's just how I typically do my makeup. And right now I'm just gonna be cleaning that extra um, fallout out. As you can see, the towel did come off with a bunch of powder. Primer for today is gonna be the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which is in this container, and I'm almost done with it. Just applying two videos before of doing my makeup. You guys know that this is one of my staples to go to. Or just put it right under. I always have to make sure I focus on the more oily parts in my skin. And I know it's funny because it's a hydrating primer, not typically for oily skin, but in my case, it works really, really well. Foundation, which is the Born This Way Foundation. It's this little cutie right here, and I'm in the color Warm Nude. Going in with a foundation brush, I'm just gonna be picking it off from the back of my hand and applying it to my face. A bit closer for you guys to see how I blend in my foundation. When it comes to brushes, I just stipple it in, pushing it into the skin. I worry about um, under my like jawline until after, but in this case, I went ahead and did it since I'm like super close and you guys could see like every single little flaw on my face. And now to my forehead. Sorry guys, my lighting right now is going back and forth due to me um, coming in and out, in and out of the camera. And now that I have applied a generous amount of foundation, I'm gonna go in with my concealer. And for my concealers today, I'm gonna be going into the Elf 16 Hour Camel Concealer in both of these colors. The And for my bronzer today, I'm gonna go with the Fenty Beauty in the shade Private Island. And I'm gonna get my JS1 brush. I'm gonna apply bronzer. Okay guys, so now to go along, I'm gonna go with this powder, this powder and this beauty blender and the opposite side of the blender and apply on the side of my nose to get that really cool effect. And under it, right under it. And if you need to, and if you've gone over your bronzer, you're just gonna go in again and back in with powder. 
straight down and right on top. And now for under the cheeks, same side, same powder. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna let this set for a little bit, go off camera and do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, and I came up with something really quick. Instead of just uh, applying more of this same green shade, I went ahead and went with the color cube with my finger and just applied a tiny bit to the inner part of the eye and it kind of gave it like a cool effect. It kind of looks purple. It looks really nice. Okay guys, so I'm going to be applying some setting spray. Oh, something is in my eye. Eh. Brenda the key um, setting spray. I'm going to go ahead and spray it. Okay, and now for my lips, I'm gonna go in with this NARS um, lipstick and it's called Barbara, Barbara. Now to finish this up, I'm gonna go in with the Bad Girl Bang Mascara from Benefit and applying it to the lower lashes. Hey guys, so I finally finished my look. I'm gonna be zooming in for you guys and just so you guys could see the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, have liked this get ready with me. I hope you guys can leave me some suggestions in the comments down below to see what you do like and don't like about the makeup videos. Again, I am just getting used to the process and trying to record with my phone. Hopefully soon get a camera for you guys to have better quality, better focus, better everything. But so far, I really like how my videos been coming out and I hope you guys do too. So thank you so much for sticking around. I will check you guys out in the next one. Bye.